Hi there everyone. The narcissistic discard. So to make it clear, the discard is not the breakup, okay? The discard can be any number of behaviours that shuts down communication between you and your narcissist, makes you simply invisible to their life. They are discarding you so that they can do lots of other deviant, disgusting, illegal, immoral behaviours. And by discarding, that can be simply blocking you on social media, removing you as a contact, friend, deleting the bit where it says engaged in the status, for example. So they block you, they delete you, you no longer exist. You have been discarded mentally to and for the narcissist and for anybody that they are currently grooming to be a flying monkey or to be a supply or the new supply they delete you okay that's a discard there are other types of discard where they will simply not speak to you on the phone not answer your messages not answer your calls and that can only happen for just a few hours or a few days so that again the narcissist can simply just let loose do exactly what you apparently are controlling them and stopping them doing such as drinking drugging excessive masturbation making porn, watching porn, sending porn uh, to new supplies, various supplies in different capacities, people online, the ex. Um, it, so the narcissist will discard you that way as well. You think you're still in a relationship with them, and you are. You haven't broken up. You have been temporarily dumped, and it will be temporary, okay? Narcissists never, ever fully let a victim go. You are never fully discarded, even when you are full on cold supply and you have no contact with them at all. And it's been several years, your narcissist will still ruminate about you, whether it's because you're the one that got away. Well done you. Or whether it's because you kicked off a right stink like me after the breakup and told the truth. And the narcissist will ruminate and obsess about your downfall. They will bitch about you to their friends. So discards can be multiple things and they're never really a breakup. They're designed to look like breakups for multiple reasons. They're designed to look like a breakup to the toxic mother, the toxic father, the siblings, so that it can make you look crazy and weird and obsessed and have no boundaries, and no morals, and no self-esteem. Because of course, during the discard, you, you understand that if you call and call and call and message a message a message and try and contact their family and try and contact their colleagues or go to their place of work, okay, you know the discard will be over and you will be let back into your abuser's life to have another hoovering stage, uh, lots of sex, lots of fun, lots of promises. And you love that. You fall for that because a narcissist has trained you to do that. They have trained you to crave the up moments after the down moments of a discard. This is how the trauma bond forms. So discards, just to conclude, are not just breakups. They are you being invisible to the narcissist so they can get up to all sorts, narrate all sorts, make you look like all sorts, make you behave in all sorts of stupid and crazy ways. And uh, it will be anything from blocking on social media, blocking on the phone, to telling you it's over, you're not getting married anymore, you're not gonna live together anymore, destroying your dreams so that you sit quietly waiting to be hoovered back in or waiting to engage in reverse hoovering and beg to be let back in. So discards are lots of different things they're not breakups, okay? There can be the ultimate discard, which is what I engaged in, which is what I wrote about in Endangerous Normal People, which is where you discard the narcissist. You block, you delete, you go no contact, and you get on with your life.